Hi children, today we are back to study about Jesus, to know more about Jesus. And let us begin our catechism class with the prayers. Today we are going to learn lesson number 15, Heaven, the House of God. We have already finished the 14 chapters and this is the last lesson in the first standard that we are going to study. Children, when we studied our lessons, we have studied how to make the sign of the cross, Hail Mary, Our Father, and so many prayers and good things. So, as we begin our today's catechism class, first we will the sign of the cross, Our Father, with open hands, and we will pray to our mother. So, please close your eyes. As we do the sign of the cross, keep your one hands on the chest and we will do the sign of the cross. And then as we pray our Father, we will keep our hands open. By the sign of the Holy Cross, protect us, O Lord, from all our enemies. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive our trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all the evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So very good children. Today we are going to study lesson number 15, Heaven, the House of God. How can we say that heaven is the house of God? Have you seen the heaven? Or any time imagined? Can anyone tell me how do you feel when you think of heaven? Yes, it is very beautiful. There is heavenly father with white beard and white hair sitting on a big chair. Then there is Jesus, Holy Spirit, all the saints and angels. There is a lot of peace and joy. Angels are singing continuously the hymn of praise. You are right, children. This is heaven. So we are going to study heaven, the house of God. We said God dwells in the church. We studied God dwells within us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Today we will study God dwells in the heaven. Heaven is the house of God. Can anyone tell me what is the heaven? Children, heaven is nothing. We can tell it is a place, but it is here on earth. Heaven is here among us. We studied already. God is love, peace, and joy. So, this peace, joy, love, and all the goodness, wherever is, there is God. And we know God is within us. God is around us. He dwells within us. It means heaven is within us. Heaven is around us. Heaven is with us. Heaven is love, peace, joy, happiness, kindness, generosity, goodness, faithfulness, and all the beautiful things that we shared with others. This is heaven. This is love. And there God dwells. And if we have this, we will have everything beautiful around us. Our life become more beautiful and more lively. This is how heaven comes. Someone has said, it is in our hands to make our life 
heaven or hell is it true children you are very small to understand but yes the more we become good the more we follow jesus the more we do good our life will become heaven and if we do bad our life will become hell children we read in the bible especially the book of revelation tells the beautiful things in the heaven even we read in the old testament jacob the israel when he was sleeping he saw the dream he saw one big staircase and angels ascending and descending even saint shaura you know this is a very famous indian saint he also saw the same dream angels ascending and descending children we feel heaven the place oh very beautiful and calm there are so many angels praising god there are so many saints even we believe our grandmother grandfather and our forefathers those who died they are in the heaven and even if we die we will go to heaven we will be with jesus in the reading we see it says there are many rooms in my father's house there are many rooms in my father's house john 14:2 yes children there is a movie called the heaven is real have you seen it if not tell your mom or dad to show you this movie it is in english and very beautiful movie the name is the heaven is for real yes children the heaven is for real the movie tells about the life of a small child who is about 3 or 5 years old his dad is a pastor and very devoted faithful family a child gets very sick and ill he was admitted in the hospital and he was maybe died he sees the heaven he sees that he entered into a place like church and he sees so many angels flying he hears the sound of singing and praising then he sees jesus coming to him jesus catches his hand and takes him in the heaven from heaven when he looks down he sees his mom kneeling down and praying father crying and praying and doctor says doing his operation but the child is in heaven when operation was over as usual when child opened his eyes he saw his mom and dad with him when he shared this story with his dad dad was surprised his little tiny child is telling and speaking about heaven mom thinks that it is his imagination for every child in your age will imagine what will be the heaven what will, how how is the god how jesus may be looking everyone felt to believe but dad of this little boy believed on him he asked many more question child says even he saw the grandfather of his father yes it was for the real this is the real story of a man who is the pastor of america in america one of the church children you also can see this beautiful movie the heaven is for real yes it is our faith that one day we also will be going to heaven there are many rooms prepared for us in heaven if we do good things we will get the big house and nice house if we get if we do bad things then we will get smaller and smaller house in the bible there is a story of 
a rich man and a man who was lying in front of the door of this rich man when both of them died the rich man was in the hell and this poor Lazarus Lazarus was in the heaven sitting beside the Abraham this man lived very happy healthy life and very kingly life he wore wore nice dress but this poor Lazarus was sitting in front of this door waiting if something falls from his table that he will eat dear children Lazarus went to heaven but this rich man went to hell why do you know this rich man did not care for the poor who was in front of his house this was his ignorance all the people praised him but he could not find favor in the god's sight but poor Lazarus whose wounds dogs were licking found the favor in his god's sight because whatever he was no one cared for him even when he died dogs in the street came and ate his flesh children yet he went to heaven so it is not how we are rich how we are poor what we have but it is how we live our life will make heaven here on earth will take us to heaven will give us our reward we all are special creation of god god loves everyone after birth till death it is in our hand how we are going to live our life so children let us take this opportunity as we have learned so many things how we will go closer to jesus from the first chapter we learned the beautiful creation of god what he has created we learned beautiful flowers birds animals mountains rivers and fishes that god create then we learned the wonderful creation of god he took seven days six days to create the beautiful creation and seven day god rested he created your mom and dad you and me he created everything we learned the name of jesus means the emmanuel god is with us we learned how god came into this world through mary joseph and mary took care of jesus we learned god is a heavenly father he loves us and jesus is the son of god who is leading us to god our father who teaches us to pray who loves us who showed us the example of service and now he is with us we are the temple of god children we have learned all these things do not forget and remember to pray to god always and whatever we have learned if we will do the heaven is for us waiting and the heaven is the reward of all that we do so god is with us but it is in our hands to to do good and be good so children for you today the homework is write down heaven is my home you can color it whenever you and stick in your room whenever you see it the heaven is my home you will remember that you need to do good then only the heaven will become your home and be genuine in your life love others as jesus loves in the gospel it is written gospel of john chapter 14 verse 2 we see there are many rooms in my father's house this is today let us memorize there are many rooms in my father's house we are special children of god god loves us we are precious in his sight if you always remember that he loves you you are precious then everything becomes very well it will go 
very well. You will have a joyful life. So, let us do one action song and tell one another that we are precious gift of God and God loves us. Shall we do it? Okay. Say, Every person is a gift of God. Every person is a gift of God. Every person is a gift of God. Wonderful, marvelous gift. Wonderful, marvelous gift. I am a gift. You are a gift. Every person is a gift. I am a gift. You are a gift. Every person is a gift. Every person is a gift of God. Every person is a gift of God. Every person is a gift of God. Wonderful, marvelous gift. Wonderful, marvelous gift. So children, every person is a gift of God. We are created by God in His own image and likeness. It is a wonderful, marvelous, a special gift here on earth that He has given us all the authority here upon all His creation. So, we are a wonderful gift of God. Let us have this feeling always and thank God. As we conclude our class, And the, uh, the book that we have studied in the first standard, God the Creator. We studied these 15 chapters which tells us about God the Creator. How God created the world, how He sent His only Son, and now how Jesus is leading us to God our Father again to the heaven of our home. So, let us sing a hymn and thank and praise our God. Please join your hands and close your eyes. I thank God for His love. I thank God for His peace. I thank God for His grace and for all the joy He brings. I thank God for the sky. I thank God for the stars. I thank God for my home in heaven above. So children, let us thank God for everything. I hope you have enjoyed the lessons that we have learned. And I hope you are doing and practicing at home all that we have studied. I was privileged and happy to teach you this catechism class, the book God the Creator. I thank you dear children and God bless you all.